Hi, Andrew here. We're going to do some more armor testing today. In particular, we're taking a look at Shot Stop's Level 3 Plus Backpack Plate. It's an all polyethylene, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene plate, which makes it extremely lightweight, reasonably thin, and flat, which is intended for a backpack or briefcase. We're going to shoot it with 7.62 by 39 millimeter M67, 5.45 by 39 millimeter 7N6, 5.56 millimeter M193, and M855. Let's get out to the range and take a look. Okay, let's take a look. Gross. <laughs> uh oh, got some failures here. All right, so which ones failed? These are the M67. That was stopped. These are the M193. That was stopped. 7N6 and M855. Looks like out of the 7N6, one of the rounds got through. That's confirmed here in the gel. Whereas I fired two M67, I fired four 7N6 because my high speed wasn't running the first time. So out of four shots, one of them passed through, and to be fair, this one here, that was very close to a previous shot. So we can say that, safely say that it does stop 7N6, it's just that if you stack them right on top of each other, eventually one of them can get through. Now on the M855, looks like both of them passed through, and that's not unheard of. This is a, an all polyethylene plate that's M855 from a 16 inch barrel. That's actually normal performance for this type of plate. That doesn't mean it can't stop 556. It means that M855 in particular tends to defeat polyethylene plates. Does that make polyethylene plates bad? No, they're super lightweight. So in everything, there's a trade off. Steel plates will stop M855 but they're ridiculously heavy. Composite plates will also stop M855, but they're a little bit heavier. So there's a little trade-off in everything. Overall, this plate has done a very good job, and I've got lots of room down the middle here for you guys to tell me what to test here. All right, I wanna stress here that the plate did stop the first two rounds of 7N6, and the only reason I even fired more ammo is because I had a camera malfunction. The third shot is the one that made it through, and that shot wouldn't have been called a fair hit according to NIJ protocol. So in a couple of different ways, while it looks like this is a failure, it isn't really so much because 
Two, two rounds were stopped. The third round, yes, it did get through, but the fourth round after that was also stopped. The only way that this got through is by putting a third round too close to other previous impacts. In general, this would probably mostly usually stop seven and six, unless you fire it from a longer barrel or other mitigating circumstances. In general, I would call this a, an easy pass. And while the M855 did perforate, it's well known that M855 often perforates ultra high molecular weight polyethylene plates. That is their Achilles heel. Just as M193 can perforate steel plates, M855 can penetrate polyethylene plates. It's widely known. I wanted to see if it held true in this case, and of course it did. It's no big surprise. That doesn't mean that this is a bad plate. That's within the design characteristics of this type of armor. Altogether, this plate did outstandingly well. The rounds that it stopped are not rounds that it is necessarily rated for. Level 3 is for 762 by 51 millimeter M80 full metal jacket. Uh, we did not fire any of that, and there's a lot of room left on the plate. Should I hit it with what it's rated for a few times? I think it's going to do pretty good against the stuff that it's rated to stop. Or do you want to see me hit it with something that is not intended to stop? I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Please post a comment below and let me know the sorts of things that you want to see me test on it. There is a lot of room right down the middle of that plate to test. If you think I got something wrong, if you have some questions, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Have a great day.